Hi, hello and welcome. It's me Vignesh here and this is your favorite V and Data channel. In the last video, we had some intro on data scrapping and how to do data scrapping and when to do it. In today's video, we will see how to data scrap with Python and how to initiate it. For that, let's pass on to our video. As I told in the last video, we will be using the PyCharm IDE and we will use it to develop Python code on the whole for all of the upcoming videos and for everything. First of all, we will see where to download Python and where to download the PyCharm IDE. can go to the python.org from here right we can download the latest version of python the latest version is 3.9.0 and this is for the windows version and that is available for Linux, Unix, Mac OS and others. From here, you can download the latest Python version. And for the PyCharm right, IDE. From here, you can download the PyCharm, PyCharm IDE. And the professional version is of cost. It has a trial period. And the community version is free and open source. Most of the development can be done with community version itself. So we can download the community version of the PyCharm and we can utilize it, right? And there's a professional version also. We can download as well. And it has a trial period. After that, you should pay some around $8 or $10, I think so. And you should get it. And the PyCharm is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. For Mac and Linux. Okay. Now, after downloading the Python as well as the PyCharm, right? First of all, install the Python. And after the installations is completed, then go for PyCharm installation. That is because after the Python installation, right? When the PyCharm ID is installed, it will automatically pick up the PyCharm. Uh, I mean, uh, PyCharm will automatically pick up the Python version and uh, it will get, mm, what to say, attached to it in a sense. It will pick up the root path and it will get uh, installed and initialized by itself. It will make our job very easy. That's the reason. First of all, install Python and afterwards install PyCharm ID. Okay, right? Now, we all shall scrap a data from a website. For that, let's open Chrome. I'm going to log in. Sorry, I'm going to go to a website. Flipkart. Okay. In this Flipkart, I'm going to search for machine learning. Machine learning in books. See, these are the machine learning books available. But since I have not logged in right, it is showing not deliverable. Okay. I'm going I'm going to scrap uh, the title of the book and the price of it. Okay. From this first page alone. Okay. For that, first of all, we should see the HTML uh, code of it. For that, right click inspect the console is in the right hand side as you can see right here then take this select an element in the page inspect icon and you can see right here 
when I click here right in the A tag class the heading of the book mean the name of the book is given hands-on machine learning with scikit learn and tensorflow when I keep my cursor in the next one right the next book name see it's also in the same A tag class of SI S1 Q9 RS hands-on learning with uh, machine learning with scikit-learn keras and so on and this one is the machine learning in the same A tag as well as the class name when I come up right, a little bit zoom this on. This whole thing comes from see, this is the div class having on the whole. And when I move my cursor down, ah, see, this is the div class, div class of E2 hyphen PCE, so on, right? This is where the total what to say the uh, content of the uh, what is the book name price everything is given this is the like want to say like a parent class parent one okay inside this parent alone all the uh, names uh, price everything is given so this is the main one as my move my cursor you can see you can select this or this one too this is to the main parent class div class of see this one this one uh, is for that alone this one is main for first one mm. see when I keep my cursor in the div class all the uh, what is all the mm, book name as well as the uh, content of the book everything is, is being highlighted in the web page so with this div class and other classes right uh, div tag a tag or span tag or any other tags we can scrap data for that we will be needing uh, three main libraries one is the request and another one is the beautiful soup and another one is the voice one oh, the beautiful soup is for the passing the text and request is for giving the request from our system to the website and pulling the data and OS is for uh, like storing uh, to an uh, in a directory the, uh, the data which we scrapped okay now we can open the PyCharm you all guys can install PyCharm as well as Python okay as I told you in the video a few minutes back okay this is the Python file you can create the python file by clicking the directory right click new python file i have already created a python file called appscrapping.py you can go to file settings and you should load a package right or a library this is a beautiful soup BS4. You can search BS4 and install package. Since we are going to use beautiful soup, we'll be installing it. Okay. If not, it will show an error like throwing it uh, beautiful soup or BS4 not found. Okay, it is installed successfully. Now I'll close it and okay. See, as you can see, right, scanning install packages, BS4 is installed, and these are the mm, libraries which are going to URL lib request dot request BS4 from BS4 import beautiful soup. Okay, this is the main library which you are going to use it now. This is to give a request to the URL which we want to specify and this is for passing the text that is available in that request. Okay. In this video we saw uh, how we are going to scrap it and 
how to install python and pycharm and how to configure it uh, in a very easy way in our next video we will see how to scrap a data from the website which i so which i shown you before like we will scrap the machine learning book names as well as the price of it and we shall store it in an excel file and we can export it from python into a directory which we are working on okay so stay tuned for our next video and thanks for watching